Hey guys, made it to Friday. We had, uh, or I just had a really awesome conversation with, and that's not me crying, that's the dogs, don't mind them. Had an awesome conversation with my boyfriend. So, a good friend of his has got two golden retrievers, and I uh, can't remember how old they are, but uh, one of the dogs has just developed allergies. Started uh, with a rash on his neck, skin or his hair started falling out, and so took him to the vet. Vet started the dog on some medicine, and now they have to have hypoallergenic everything from their bedding to the food. Everything has to be very um, protected, maybe is the word. Here's the kicker these two dogs are brothers, all right? So you might be thinking, okay, the dogs are brothers, they eat the same food. They are active the same amount during the day. They um, sleep roughly the same schedule. They have all the same environmental stuff. All right. So that's not really an issue. Okay. Some people might say, oh, it's genetics. It's passed down. These are brothers. These are from the same mom and dad. All right. So that's out. Maybe, I don't know. There are a lot of different reasons out there for why one person, so you see how I'm relating this to people now, would develop an allergy and why another wouldn't. So in a household, sometimes it's only one kiddo or one parent who has allergies. This could be seasonal allergies, allergies to peanut, whatever it might be, all right? Why is that? So we've talked before about how there are two pieces to your nervous system. There's a gas pedal and a brake pedal. Your immune system is very similar in that it has a, a gas pedal, which we think of as like the common stuff to push and expel. So I talk about it as it's the stuff that's protecting the castle. It's the cannonballs, it's the moat, it's the alligators in the moat, it's the drawbridge, everything to keep things out. So sneezing, watery eyes, drainage from the ears, snot, all of the garbage that's intended to push things out becomes or comes from this gas pedal, this expeller of garbage. And then we have the other side of the immune system, just like with the nervous system, this other side of the immune system that's responsible for developing antibodies and protecting, giving immunity. Okay. So what happens when we get stuck with one or the other? It was really what we want is a balance between the two. When we get stuck in that push garbage out, get out of here, we see things like allergies because the body is constantly on, it's constantly firing. It thinks that there's something that it's taken in either like through the nose, through the mouth, through the ears uh, that it needs to get rid of. Why would that be? In our office, most of the time we see it, um, especially in little kids, from childbirth. If there is a traumatic birth, if there is a C-section, uh, things like that. Okay, well, what about an adult? A lot of times, stress of that nature was never addressed in when that adult was a child. And so the problem, quote-unquote problem, has persisted into adulthood because it was never corrected. And so now we've got allergies, and more than likely we've got low immunity, and we've probably got tummy garbage because everything is just irritated all the time. So... If you know someone who has allergies, I would really appreciate if you would share this with them and just challenge their way of thinking a little bit. Or maybe I'm challenging your way of thinking. If that's so, uh, great, because I love to do that. I just want you to, to get thinking, you know. And like I said, it was, really, um, it was really fun to have that conversation with my boyfriend because um, this was in dogs and obviously I... I don't adjust dogs, I adjust people, uh, but the concept is similar, all right? So you don't have allergies because all of a sudden you developed allergies to dust and pollens and mold. More than likely, you developed allergies because your system thinks that something in the air, something in the dust, trees, molds, pollens, is toxic to your body and so it's pushing everything out it thinks it needs to push everything out so uh, how can we tell that well in our office there are a couple different tests that we do um, like during re-exams or during your new patient appointment the scans are really really vital in helping us determine if your gas is stuck hammer to the floor all right so please share this video uh, and have a great Friday